Today we're gonna to be testing out Varathane's new Super Glaze, which is a pre-tinted epoxy. We've got two projects. One is a river serving tray, and the other is a live edge and epoxy side table that I formed up with a giant Frisbee. Let's get started. So when Varathane sent me this Super Glaze, I knew that I wanted to do something kind of cool incorporating wood with the, um, the epoxy. However, I've seen these river tables done all over the place, so I decided to make a side table. And when I was shopping around my local lumber yard, I found these wooden cookies. So I needed a mold in order to cast the epoxy. So I stumbled upon this extra large 18 inch mega hover, mega mother hover Frisbee. And it actually looks like the perfect mold. And this is, um, Instead of using like a silicone mold, I know those can get pretty expensive and this is going to be a one-time use. Turns out that it's the Mega Mother Hover is the perfect size for a side table. So I've got the, the big Frisbee, the, um, the cookie, and then I've got some legs that I'll later be attaching to the base. So let's go ahead and get this position where we want to and start mixing up our epoxy. Now, the cool thing about this epoxy is that it is a two-part pre-tinted resin. So it takes a lot of the, the work out of coming up and mixing colors, as well as you just pour these two containers into a mixing tub, mix it up, and then you're ready to pour. Now we're gonna be using classic gray as the color for this project. However, they do offer other colors such as turquoise and aged wood. So I've got an 18 inch disc um, and the cookie I would say is about a half to maybe five eighths of an inch thick. I used two kits of the super glaze to pour this in there. Now I've got the cookie clamped down to the work surface and that's just gonna keep it from floating up in the epoxy and help minimize the amount of epoxy that gets underneath of it. Um, I've also used a heat gun to try and remove as many of those little air bubbles as possible from the epoxy mix. So we're gonna let this set up and once it's set up, once it sets up, we're going to try to get it out of the mold. That's my theory. Let's see if it works. Okay, so these projects have had a full 24 hours now to cure, and we're going to try and remove this from the Frisbee mold and see how it actually comes out. It's actually coming out of here pretty good. Oh, that is not bad. So there was a little bit of weeping in or seeping in underneath the slab there or the cookie. However, I think that's gonna clean up pretty good with some sandpaper. So we'll start sanding this and then we'll round over this edge and uh, see how we like it. Okay, so we got the top of it sanded. I didn't really do too much to the bottom, but it's looking pretty good. I think one of the things that I probably should have done first was seal um, the wood so that the epoxy didn't kind of like weep into it. There was like some areas that I couldn't get the epoxy quite all the way out of the wood. Um, so if you're doing this project yourself, make sure that you seal it first. 
Now I've got these cool like mid-century modern legs. And I've got three of them, um, which is great because a three-legged stool or table or whatever doesn't have any wobble to it. So I got the angled plates and we're going to mount those plates to the bottom of this tabletop and then get them right where we want, mount them, and then we'll come back and we'll wipe on poly the whole thing. So this was the other piece of wood that I found at the lumber yard as well. This is just a three quarter inch piece of live edge. And we're going to be using this to create a river table serving tray. So I'm going to start by cutting this or ripping this in half on the table saw. And then we'll start setting up the form to pour the epoxy. Okay. So I've got my live edge ripped in half and I've got it positioned kind of how I want to. Um, these are not the final dimensions, but it's close and I'll cut it down at the very end. So what I'm going to do right now is I've got a piece of melamine as the form for the bottom. I'm going to take some screws and I'm going to screw up through the melamine into this piece of wood and that's just going to suck the wood down to the surface. Then we'll cut it on the miter saw, cut the ends off so they're nice and flush with the wood and the melamine and we'll come back and we'll tape the ends and that's going to keep the epoxy in. Now, in order to dress this project up a little bit, I actually found some really cool stone mosaic tile at the hardware store. And I've gone ahead and ripped some of those off of the mesh backing, and then we're gonna lay those in there when we pour the epoxy, or before we pour the epoxy. For this project, since we are making a river table, we're gonna be going with turquoise for the color. And I'm gonna go ahead and peel this tape off and we'll pop it off the form. And then rather than sanding this one, since it does fit through my planer, I'm gonna make a quick pass through the planer and just go ahead and level this all off and uh, see where it goes from there. So when I formed this up, I made sure to leave the stones a little bit into the form so that I could come back and clean this up with my miter saw on both ends. So I've got a little excess there. So I'm gonna come back right now with a miter saw and trim off both ends and kind of get down to our final product. So 
So I've got the, the serving tray um, cut down to size and I went ahead and sanded it all down with 400 grit sandpaper to really give a nice polish to that, um, the epoxy. And now I'm gonna come back with our wipe on poly. I'm gonna apply a few coats of that. We'll add some rubber feet on the bottom as well as a couple of handles to be able to handle the thing. And the um, project is done. Okay, so I went ahead and applied that wipe on poly. You guys saw me do that. Now I came back with a buffer and kind of buffed it in to make it look real nice. And we've got a couple of handles that we're gonna be installing just about an inch or so from the edge on either side. So I've just gotta drill those holes and attach those handles and then our serving tray is done. Our side table is looking good as well. So overall, I would say this is a success. Now there's a couple of things that I've kind of learned throughout this process, which one was that the live edge tends to trap a lot of air. So if I had to do this over again, I probably would have painted some of that epoxy onto the live edge first, just to make sure that that air didn't get trapped underneath of that, um, as well as some of the stones also held a couple of air, air pockets. So there are just a few bubbles along that live edge. So that was one of the things that I learned along the way. Otherwise, like I said, projects are turning out great. The side table, the Frisbee had a couple of little ripples in it, so it's not completely flat. However, for a $6 form, I would say the extra large mother hover is, uh, is a pretty good deal. So overall, I really liked working with Verathane's new Super Glaze, and they've got several colors that work out well for a lot of different projects. Now, a thicker pour like this side table is gonna result in a not so transparent surface, which is perfect for this project. However, if you were gonna be doing a skim coat or a very lighter top coat, which is kind of what this product is intended for, it's gonna act as a, um, almost like a varnish. And it actually is thicker up to like 75 times the thickness of a standard varnish. But that's gonna give you that transparent, like charcoal-y look. Same thing with the blue, um, or the turquoise rather, for the Super Glaze. Since this is a thicker pour, it's gonna turn more blue. Whereas if you were doing just a top coat, this would give you that greener turquoise look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project, or these projects rather. I loved how both of them turned out. However, I definitely learned a few things along the way. If you want to learn more about both of these projects, make sure you click that button right there and that's gonna take you on over to the website. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that one right there and you won't miss out on any future projects. Until next time, be safe and happy building.